welcome back everybody so guys here you can see that this is a simple paragraph uh, you've learned about this a lot more but uh, right now I'm just gonna teach you some more interesting things this is a simple paragraph go there and press enter and add P again okay and this is the second paragraph perfect now for the second one first I just want to show you that how it's looking in the browser it's looking as simple as it is but right now I just want to make the second as the bold okay for doing this we have to add the B tag and exactly we have to stop the B tag so there is an ending ending tag too so the B tag is starting in the ending for uh, around the second now refresh now you can see that the text is bold the second is bold now so now here is a simple I just want to make it italicize so go there and put the I and ex exactly we have to stop this there okay if, as I said before that if you know about the MS office uh, or especially the MS word then you can easily understand the meaning of the B B for bold and I for italicize this is a very common feature of uh, any word processing program but here you can see that it became italicized that means it's working perfectly well duplicate this and uh, this is the third I'm just typing third paragraph but for now I'm not uh, I'm not putting the bold but refresh that to see first now you can see that this is as simple as it is but now I'm just updating the beef to you what the mean of you exactly we have to stop the you too and the meaning of you is very simple that uh, basically it's underlining you can see that the third is underlined that means all these very basic uh, elements are working perfectly and for the paragraph I'm duplicating this one and right now fourth okay but for this fourth what I'm just doing I'm applying the B first and as, as I said that when you open any tag close this first before opening any other but inside the B I'm opening U2 okay then close this one too and then the I2 but when you are trying to nest the tags as much as you can <coughs> like the P first then U then I then don't forget to uh, put it in a right manner in a right order the B is uh, on the very first they should be on the very last okay the U is in the middle of the left side so it should be in the middle and I is uh, at the very right so there it should be the very left okay so that is going really perfect in a perfect manner go to the browser and refresh now you can see that it's bold it's italicized and it's underlined so all these major functions and uh, sorry the major tags are working perfectly major features are perfect working perfectly something more you must know I'm just adding the simple blank space here and then or why not I just create a new paragraph because I just want to show you some interesting thing that uh, instead of uh, instead of uh, bold tag you can use a strong okay two the, you can use bold tag or you can use this use a strong tag too so for the bold I'm using the B but for the strong I'm using the strong you can use the strong too it's it works same as the bold works so save and go to the browser and refresh now you can see that both are working same instead of the bold tag you can use use a strong too and they're working perfectly now press enter and now P instead of the itali size um, yeah you can use the emphasize tag 2 okay so there I'm using the i tag okay and here instead of the i I'm using em em means the emphasized So even check it on the browser refresh now you can see that both are looking perfect and the other thing is if you if you just want to create a small tag a small text so 
first of all you can see that this is the small text okay so let's just put the small tag and end this up there a small a small and go to the browser and refresh now you can see that this is the small text um, this is a normal size yeah exactly it's a small but actually you know that the screen is screen is zoomed out zoomed in so you just cannot understand so why not I cut this and paste there to just clarify now just concentrate on these things refresh now you can see that that D is small too that means the small tag is working perfectly well one thing more I just forgot to do that uh, again the P and instead of uh, underline you can use the insert tag too okay so there the u tag okay now instead of the u you can use the ins tag which looks same like the ins uh, the under underline now you can see that both are looking perfect and same just for the information you must know about that so something more just after that some more interesting formatting styles I'm just t t teaching you the formats of the text text formats of the HTML another P tag and go there the old prize or I think the price of the shampoo is 100 okay and then the 95 whatever so there just use the del and end this up with the del and ins and end this up with the ins you will see what is the del tag when I just refresh this now you can see that I just cut at the value of uh, the 100 actually the DEL is work like the strike throw and the last thing is go there and another P tag because I'm just making another paragraph and there you are number fifth whatever but for the fifth it should be superscript super s u p p for power okay super script so refresh your number fifth you can see that the th is on top okay now p the atomic mass oh wow i'm not teaching you the chemistry sorry about that the atomic mass of the c means the carbon is uh, you know 12 c12 but this should be look like this sub actually I just want to show you the subscript sub okay so that's why I just put it some chemistry there now the atomic mass of C is 12 so this is a superscript this is a subscript and you should not be really curious about the chemistry right now because you just got a lot of interesting tags interesting formatting tags you should apply them and the last one which is the HTML 5's element very latest the HTML 5 element or the formatting element now go there and put another P and uh, this text should be marked whatever and uh, let's just mark it Put by adding the mark tag save and go back to the browser and refresh now you can see that the mark is marked uh, this is the way we can use the now refresh perfect now basically this is the HTML5 element but pretty important so guys in the next class we'll learn a lot more things stay tuned